today I'm gonna be showing you how to make a high fiber, delicious, crunchy cookie. Let's go. It's pretty much all fiber, baby. Low calorie. All right, so first you're gonna need some wheat bran. I'm gonna post, put a picture up there to what it looks like in the store, but this is what it looks like in the blender, and I'm gonna blend it up to make it more fine so that we can make this cookie taste a little bit better of a texture. Uh, most of this stuff is just fiber with protein. As you guys can see here, I'll put up the macros. We got for 100 grams, which is a pretty large serving. It's only 216 calories, and that's mostly because it's high in fiber. It's got 64 grams of carbs, but 42 of those grams is fiber, so it's mostly fiber, and then you're getting 15 and a half grams of protein, so that's pretty awesome. And 4.3 grams of fat with low amounts of saturated fat, so it's actually mostly good fat. And you're getting tons of fiber. It's going to help you stay very full while dieting, while losing fat. Um, so that's a massive benefit. And you get to eat more because the more fiber it has, less calories it's going to have. Fiber has two to zero calories per gram. So keep that in mind. That's why this is so good. So we got the blender all set up with the brand in it. Let's go. Alright, so it's done blending now. It's a bit finer. I don't know if you guys can see that well, but it's a bit finer, so I'm going to put it in a bowl now. So there we go. Into a bowl, just any bowl that you can microwave, so that's good. Next, what you're going to need is some type of sweetener. I'm using Sugar Twin. Add two packets because uh, I want it really sweet, but you could just do one pack if you just want a slight hint of sweetness. Now you need a pinch of salt to make it taste a little better. And the last thing you're gonna need is just a little bit of water. All right, now stir and mix it all up. All right, so as you can see, I mixed it all up and then I spread it all out with the water. So this is what it looks like now. And you can eat it just like this. You don't have to cook it. You can eat it raw, but to make it taste like a cookie and have a really crunchy like texture, you're gonna wanna microwave it. I'm gonna microwave it for three minutes and see what it's like. Guys, if you're wondering where you can buy a uh, wheat bran, you can buy it at places like Bulk Barn, or you can buy it at like Superstore for super cheap. Um, it's like 44 cents per 100 grams where I live, so check where you live, how much it costs, but it's generally very, very cheap. Cheaper than any like fiber cereal or bran cereal because you know they like to charge more because they make it technically. But if you just buy the pure bran from the sources that wholesale sell it, you're gonna get it for way cheaper. And they use a lot of the stuff to make like uh, you know those bran cereals like uh, like all bran buds and the fiber cereals. They use one of these ingredients like wheat bran a lot of the times and like psyllium husk to add fiber and make it taste the way that it does. All right, it's been microwaving a bit. Um, we'll check on it soon. All right, it's been microwaving for three minutes. So let's check on it. Um, so it's very hot, but it's still not quite crunchy. So um, let's keep microwaving. Now I'm still waiting for the microwave, but I gotta love the fact I got this cool cup that changes colors based on the temperature of the drink. So it's not that cold, but Let's add some crystal light. Ooh. I just finished up another uh, one and a half minutes, so I put it in for another two minutes. So it's been about a total of like six minutes, six and a half minutes, I don't know. It's been a while, so you gotta microwave this lots if you want it to be crunchy and like a crispy texture. So yeah, let's keep going, guys. All right guys, it just finished microwaving and I peeled it out of the bowl and it's pretty like hard now as you can see. It crunches off like that. Let's try some. Mmm. And it tastes good too because we added the sweetener to make it sweeter and it's got like a good texture and it's crunchy and fluffy at the same time. And you can add like chocolate chips too, or whatever you want, like a normal cookie. And it basically just tastes like an oatmeal cookie, but without like having chocolate chips in it. But you can add chocolate chips to it. Here's some chocolate chips added to it. 
Yeah, look at all that deliciousness. Yum. Your oatmeal kind of tasting cookie, so. Go check it out. Make sure to like, share, subscribe if you like the video, guys. Try and make one of these if you want yourself. And peace out.